Indian astronaut Shubhanshu Shukla along with three other Axiom 4 crewmates will return to Earth on Tuesday after an 18-day stay aboard the International Space Station. The splashdown off the coast of California is expected on July 15th at 1 minute past 3 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Once on Earth, the four astronauts, including Shukla, are expected to spend seven days in rehabilitation as they adjust back to life on Earth under the influence of gravity. Typically, it takes almost three days uh, for the compensatory mechanisms to kick in and for them to have uh, a robust uh, uh, lifestyle as we have on Earth. Uh, but three to seven days is uh, then uh, uh, another additional time given for them to completely recover so that they can uh, be uh, free of any more monitoring. So we will be learning as uh, in this particular case as to how long exactly Shubhanshu takes to fully recover and become fit for normal duties on Earth. The rehabilitation is aimed at monitoring the astronauts and allowing them time to regain muscle strength, balance and blood flow, key to readjusting from microgravity to Earth's conditions. When these uh, astronauts are exposed uh, to uh, the zero G in the ISS and uh, the body gets how shall I say, a de-acclimatize uh, or uh, it, it, uh, uh, decompensates with the normal ability to stand up in a 1G environment on Earth. When we stand up from a lying down posture, suddenly our ability to keep up the blood pressure uh, to the brain uh, is, uh, is there because, uh, because we have compensatory mechanisms. These get subdued once we are exposed to zero G and so therefore it takes a long time for pilots to get used to the 1G of, of uh, the earth, especially the cardiovascular system as also the neurovestibular system because they are also now uh, coming back to 1G from zero G. In microgravity, while in space, astronauts' bones, muscles, brain and heart experience grave changes. This leads to balance loss, cardiovascular strain, motion sickness and vision problems when they return to Earth as gravity and other environmental factors start affecting their bodies. So our internal ears, the semicircular canals and otolith organs, especially the otoliths, they work in the 1G environment and they are floating uh, in the zero G and so they also need time to come back uh, for our ability to sense let's say head movements up and down all these things take a while uh, to return. According to experts space travel exerts a lot of stress on the body and mind of the astronauts However, under the supervision of professional health experts, astronauts are gradually able to make full recovery during and after rehabilitation. <laughs> <laughs>